Hello everybody, welcome to Freedom 55 Adventure with Starlin Torsten and thank you for dropping by and visiting today. Today we're going to be talking about Caldera Hot Springs and we're going to be going from the town of David up the Bocchetti Highway and just past the security checkpoint. You will, or just after the ch security checkpoint, you will turn right and head down the highway towards the town of Caldera. So this is a beautiful scenic uh, highway if you're going to go for a drive make sure you bring your cameras with you um, you'll see you know cowboys in this area riding down the road on their horses lots of little places to stop and take pictures it really is a beautiful place down here we decided that we would stop at this little place and here are the cement stairs going down to this river um, if you do not have good footwear on and you are not physically fit and you're not stable, I would not recommend going down this little path because there's some of uh, the stairs that are uh, washed away and you have to rely on walking down uh, on the ground and it has roots and it's slippery and it can be dangerous. So we went down here, we had a little scout around and then we decided to walk back up to the bridge and take a look over the bridge and get a better view of the area. So we're going to be coming into the town of Caldera soon and it's beautiful and it's very clean and the people really take pride in their little town. It's There's no garbage lying around just thrown and strewn about. It has some fondas, it has some mercados, which are those little grocery stores. So you can pop in and grab a meal along the way to the hot springs. Caldera is about a half an hour south of Bocchetti, and it's about 45 minutes north of David. Just so you get an idea of how far it is if you're driving. A lot of people will take the bus up from David or down from Bocchetti and then take the Caldera bus in. And some people will just book a tour in David or Bocchetti to go into the Caldera Hot Springs. And as you can see, there's buses. Again, buses are everywhere in Panama. If you need to go there, most likely, 99.9% .9 of the time, there's probably a bus going there. So on the right-hand side, coming up here to your right, where the sign is, is a recycling depot, which is very new to Panama. There we see it. And that's why this town is, again, very clean, because people are picking up everything, their plastics, their bottles, and they're utilizing recycling programs. So again, this is very new in Panama and um, it needs to be fully introduced to the rest of Panama. And you can see it makes a huge difference when they put these uh, recycling depots in, these little things on the side of the road. They're not much, but they sure do make a difference. The road out to the hot springs and the Caldera River is pretty good, except for when you have to turn off and go into the hot springs, then you definitely need a vehicle with some clearance. So we have a Toyota Rush vehicle that we bought and it has really good ground clearance. It is not four by four, so we did manage to get in and out okay. Um, we didn't struggle, but you just have to slow down and really um, go slowly over the bumps because the road in is really, how would you say, rustic. <laughs> and the bus system here is, um, it's, it's really good in the way that if somebody needs to take a bus, there's, it's not like you have to be at the bus stop right on time. If you're walking down the road towards the bus and you see it coming, all you have to do is wave the bus down anywhere and they will stop and let you on. So that's always nice. I stopped here at this little grocery store on the side of the road and picked up some cool drinks before we went in. So 
So here is the sign for the hot springs. We missed it the first time because we didn't know that it was the hot spring sign, but we turned around eventually and found it. And this little bridge you can drive across with your car is very narrow. At first it looked a little intimidating, but it's really not. Beautiful river bef below. The Caldera River is really beautiful to swim in. It's perfect temperature. So you head left at the end of the bridge and go up the hill. And it will eventually take you to a parking lot that is not very big. The road is a little rough going up. But as you can tell, we're not tippy-toeing up. We're, you know, going at a nice slow speed. So this is on private property. So the people that come out of the house at the hot springs, they are the, the landowners, they're the residents, and they're the one that collects the fees when you go in. This is not wheelchair accessible, obviously, or anybody that has mobility issues. This is not some place, as you can tell by going down this trail towards the hot springs. It's very rocky, it's uneven. There's lots of big roots sticking out. So, you know, by all means, if you're, you feel fit and you have some walking sticks, um, then for sure, take it on. But I don't think I wanna be taking anybody that is too elderly along here. Just getting down is, um, can, is, is very uneven. And I would deem it unsafe as you see these big roots sticking out from all over the place. Don't forget your towels and bathing suits. You can always change in this little house area. And like I say, this is very rustic. This is one of the appealing things about Caldera. It's not, you know, built up. It's not commercialized. This is just as it was pretty much 100 years ago. So when you go into the Caldera Hot Springs, a lot of people go because they find the therapeutic benefits are really good if they have psoriasis or eczema and it's good for skin conditions it softens the skin the minerals that are coming from the hot springs and the the river is next to it and you can go from the hot pools to the river back to the hot pools we took our dog and he absolutely loved the river And this is the property from above where the hot springs are. You can see one of the pools down to the left. There's the owner's home in the top right. You can, like I said, take tours with tour companies or a private guide. Or if you just come down to Panama and visit us here in David, we'll take you up there. It's always nice to have visitors from around the world come in, pop in and visit. So this pool is, is one of the hot springs. It's not the hottest spring. Crystal clear, just beautiful. People sit on that little bench over there in the water, but it's still very warm. This is the hottest spring, and it's like a hot, hot tub, like a hot, hot, hot tub. <laughs> so keep that in mind.
This spot is great. We went here swimming and it's up the road from the hot springs and we absolutely love it. Thank you guys for popping in today. Please remember to like and subscribe. Have a good day.